so today I'm going to be filming my get ready with me for my birthday and my birthday is actually on December 3rd and you're going to be seeing this hopefully fingers crossed on the 2nd. I actually have the day off work today so I figured I would film some videos for y'all and kind of treat this as like a practice round for my birthday makeup and I actually think it turned out looking really really good. It's a little bit darker but I figured my birthday is kind of like an event so it's pretty appropriate and I really like how it turned out and I'm also going to share with you guys my outfit for the day. So if you love get ready with me videos and outfit of the day videos and you know this kind of a mashup of a video don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I know and also if you want to see a like what I got for my birthday like haul but not really a haul but you know what I mean kind of a video let me know in the comments down below but without further ado let's just get in to the get ready with me Alrighty, so starting out with clean skin, I'm first priming using the Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. And now moving on to foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Stay Luminous Foundation. And my skin is pretty dry, especially in the winter time, so I like to go with a more glowy foundation to kind of compensate for that. And then I'm just blending that in with an IT Cosmetics brush. For concealer, I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and just blending that in with my finger and I love this concealer because it's light reflecting and really really brightens. And now I'm just blending it in further with the foundation brush because it is a little bit lighter than my skin. And now I'm just setting that with the banana powder from Anastasia just so it doesn't crease or anything throughout the day. And now, moving on to eyes, I'm priming my lid using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Literally, y'all, this stuff is so good and it's so cheap. You need to go try it. For eyeshadow, I'm first using the shade Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette. Just as a blending shade, make sure everything, you know, blends out really well over it. And next, from the Anastasia Self Made palette, I'm taking the shade Pink Champagne and just packing that all over my lid so it really, really pops. Next, I'm taking the shade Hot Chocolate, which is a matte warm brown, and just deepening up the crease with a more precise blender brush, and just darkening it up a bit. And to take the look a step further, I'm using the shade Metallic Plum from the palette, and a really dense brush, and I'm just stamping that pigment into the outer corner, just to deepen it up a little bit more since, you know, it's my birthday. Why not? And now I'm just blending everything out with a clean, fluffy brush. Next, I'm taking the shade Treasure, which is a light champagne shade, and just placing that in my inner corner just to brighten things up a bit. And I'm taking the shade Butter, which is the matte highlight, and just placing that underneath my brow bone. And then to balance out the look, I'm going back in with hot chocolate and just placing a little bit of that on my lower lash line. For liner, I'm using a liquid liner from Marc Jacobs that I have a sample of, and just watch this, you guys. This is literally the most perfect wing liner I've ever done, and I caught it on camera. Just look at it. Like, perfection. And then, naturally, I felt the pressure with this eye, and it did not turn out quite as good, but hey, I'll take it. And now I'm just curling my lashes using my Shiseido, I still can't say it, um, eyelash curler. And this is seriously the best eyelash curler. It gets every single lash and it's amazing. And for mascara, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. And this is actually the first time I ever used it. And I hate to say it, but I do really, really like it. It made my lashes look super like thick and fluffy, kind of like how false lashes makes your lashes look kind of full and stuff. And yeah, I think I'm a fan, which is unfortunate. For brows, I'm using the Clinique Brow Mousse to hold everything in place. And this stuff is so good. It's so much better than the Benefit one and it's a little cheaper. So that's a good find. Going back to the face, I'm now gonna do a little bit of contouring using the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I like to use the shade in the middle because it's a little bit more cool tone. And I'm just using my IT Cosmetics Contour Brush. And I know it looks really crazy right now, not blended at all, but I promise it'll get blended. You will see the magic and it's just great. 
And now I am just blending out the contour with a clean fluffy brush to make everything look a little less crazy. And moving on to blush, I'm using Bobbi Brown's Pale Pink, which is one of my all time favorites. It looks just beautiful on everybody for any look, it's great. And for highlight, I'm just going back in to the Anastasia palette and taking the shimmery highlight shade out of there and placing that on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. And for lipstick, I'm using NARS's Anna lipstick and I know it looks really sloppy, but I clean it up, I promise. And it's one of my favorites for fall because it's still like neutral, but it's still dark. It's pretty perfect. And I'm just going to set all that with the Smashbox Primer Water. And that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. And yeah, let's move on to the outfit. So for my birthday outfit, I decided to go with this dress from Free People. And I got this a couple months ago, but I've seen it at like Nordstrom Rack and stuff. So keep your eye out. And to make it a little bit more folly, I decided to add a floppy hat to go with it, which is from The Loft, and then some dainty jewelry, and then some booties, which I got from Target. Keep in mind, I live in Florida now, so it's not very cold here, but this is like as fall as I can get. So I hope you guys like the outfit, and I hope you guys like the video. All right, everyone, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I know, and I'll definitely do more Get Ready With Me's since they're pretty easy to film, and I really like filming them, and I like watching them, so I feel like, you know, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check me out on social media, and all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys later. Bye, y'all.